war on corruption, crashing through the lies and disinformation. By the way, I'm going to get into their set to try to gut the country completely and bring in total globalism and bankrupt everything uh, with the immigration reform bill that is thousands of nightmare pages uh, connected into NAFTA and GATT. You think uh, that was good? We'll get ready for every major city to go. Detroit. Detroit Rock City. We're going to be looking at that and tying it into Elysium. You know, I tried to give the film the benefit of the doubt at, beforehand. was a big fan of District 9, even though... It had its own political messages. This film was incredibly well done. This, this director is a master, and he is a total globalist pawn. This was a piece of anti-white, race war, anti-American, anti-free market, anti-capitalist propaganda. And again, I mean, the way it sells it, you want to be a communist. It's not that I side with the bad guys in the movie. It's 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 that it 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 is a projected fraud. And the fact that Matt Damon and the director would come out and say there's nothing political about this, insulting, insulting everyone. But then Kurt Nemo found earlier statements where, of course, they admitted it was a open borders immigration reform propaganda. They admitted that weeks ago. So Drudge had it up there where they were denying it. Kurt found where they had already said it. And then Drudge posted that under there yesterday at DrudgeReport.com showing how they were lying. I'll get to that. But, uh, folks, you know I'm all about unity and stuff. But the so-called left is not going to allow that, okay? And and they are the racist. It's beyond that. They're the technocrats. But this was unbelievable. The only good white guy in the movie is Matt Damon. Every other white person is an inhuman devil that has to be killed. Afrikaners, Dutch uh, whites are the are the are just demons. Uh, I mean, it is just, un I mean, imagine you made a movie where all the bad guys are black people. I mean, that basically is what this is. Unbelievable. So I'm going to give you a breakdown uh, of Elysium and, and the propaganda there uh, as well. Again, I want to explain something. They sell everything in this culture like it's Cowboys, Redskins, Steelers versus the uh, 49ers. It's all us against them. It, it is very simple. People buy into it. And that's what uh, basically Elysium does. It, it is a very powerful film, uh, very entertaining and very deep on multiple levels. That said, it is globalist propaganda to have people identify basically racially with socialism and collectivism as the Latin American population doubles to take over North America politically uh, as part of the North American Union that is in the SPP plan. But not to bring freedom to Latin America, to bring down the entire system and make sure there's no middle class, only a tiny ultra elite like you have in Latin America over the rest. But it sells it like every white person is a murderous evil robot that feeds on the angel Hispanics and angel black people. Uh, and the only good white person is really Hispanic himself. Uh, he just looks, you know, what you'd call, you know, like uh, pure, quote, Anglo, and that's Matt Damon. And he sacrifices himself as the Christ figure because of the evil white people. I mean, it is unbelievable. And it's anti-European. It's anti-Dutch. It's anti-French. Uh, 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 America is basically Elysium and Germany and France and England. And it has subliminals in it. I got to go see it again. I mean, and take notes and not when it's midnight, you know, the first showing, because I was also tired. It was unbelievably evil. Uh, it has Mark of the Beast, that's a genetic tattoo that everybody wants to get. So it sells that idea. It sells transhumanism as the way to go. It is incredible. 
But it is a masterpiece beyond District 9. And that was his first big film. Uh, this guy is certainly an amazing artist, but, but, and, and, uh, but, but, and, and of course, he's a white guy as well, a uh, Neil Bloomkamp, Bloomkamp. Amazing. And uh, Kurt Nemo's article is accurate because they admitted about a month ago, yeah, it's about immigration, about open borders worldwide. Hey, can I have open borders to Mexico? Oh, no, I can't go there. Oh, hey, can I go to, uh, you know, can I go move into Japan and immigrate there? Not if I don't have millions of dollars. I mean, it's just they have homeland defense robots. So it also has a message saying homeland security is a tyranny. And it also admits that there's an elite that's going to have live extension technologies and you're not going to have it. So it has a lot of truths in it. But it says communism will give you all the free goodies when it all it de deploys as a nightmare and that it's racial and that white people are bad. So the film is incredibly dangerous. I got to go see it again and just take notes. I mean, it, 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 it is the new level of propaganda. Blomkamp, Neil Blomkamp, uh, is, makes Joseph Goebbels look like a lobotomized rat. I mean, this was just propaganda hammer. And also the black ops teams, when they're in live satellite stuff, they're blurred out even as they're killing people. Just like Google blurs out when you, I mean, it, it had a lot of subtle stuff in it. Uh, Jakari Jackson, who, who went with us, he picked up the Mark of the Beast stuff. It was truly amazing. And, and it also sells, you know, kind of like a scum, gangster, Latino, culture as if that's the, the Hispanic culture. It, it tries to brand that, that that's the cool thing. Doing drugs, partying, you know, that's really tough and wonderful. Uh, so like MS-13 is really sexy. Uh, so it, it was also meaning to brand a gang culture for Hispanics as a psychological warfare weapon to hurt them. Uh, it was, uh, this guy may even be the front guy. I mean, th this, 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 this had armies of psychiatrists and people working on it. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. If you just joined us, I'm going to finish up with my Elysium review. And then we're going to get Larry Clayman, the lawyer, who I know well, on with the father of one of the Heroic Navy SEALs who died in SEAL Team 6, the father of Michael Strange, Charles Strange, is going to be joining us. Uh, by the way, I, I went to the film with Darren McBreen, Marcos Morales, uh, Kit Daniels, um, Shane Steiner, myself, uh, Jakari Jackson. So, you know, there was Hispanic folks there, black guy there, white guys there, whatever. We're all just human beings, friends. Everybody agreed. Yeah, no, the white guys are the bad guy. Europeans are the bad guys. White South Africans are really the bad guys in the future hundreds of years from now. And the only good white guy is Matt Damon because he kills himself for the Latin Americans that basically are living down here in the United States. And my whole question is, if Mexico and stuff's so bad and America is basically Elysium, that's the analogy, well then... Ha ha I mean, why is Mexico so bad? Why is Brazil so bad? Because they've been under globalist type operations and the globalists are trying to duplicate that here. And the globalists see the numbers. The world's what you'd call 7% white was just 9% just a decade ago. It'll be like 3% uh, within another 30, 50 years. In fact, it's predicted that, quote, white Caucasians will be extinct within 100 years.
there will be no white people. And they teach in college, that's good, get rid of them, we're bad. You know, whatever you do. And my whole issue is, is that I'm sitting here as a white guy being told I'm just inherently evil. But the only reason that's happening is the globalists are trying to play our countries off against each other. They're trying to play our religions off, race off, all that. In the name of fighting racism, they're selling it and pushing it. And this is hardcore branding for all Latin Americans that all the whites are out to get you and they don't want to share the stuff they've got with you. So let's say we kill all the white people. Get rid of all those business owners. I mean, it just, it, it, what if I wasn't here? And then I got people of all, quote, races, they're all just human beings working here. I mean, well, will that help them if I was gone? Would it help somebody if I didn't go to, say, a Hispanic-owned restaurant? Will that help him if the gringo's dead? I mean, this is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. This is kill all the gringos, and then 20 billion people can go live on a space station that 100,000 can live on. <laughs> And then it makes getting the life extension technology, getting real technological equity, it makes it a communist Latin American thing. They sell communism and collectivism based on liberation theology, racism, as the way to get ahead. And so if we take billions of people into the U.S. and give them all free welfare, because the archetype is just a machine, just heals you. Just, hey, we'll take your business like in Cuba and then it'll be a paradise. Well, no, that doesn't happen. And this is all financed by ultra rich that are exempt and are offshore. And Google funds all this open border stuff while they're building floating cities and space stations that they say they're, they're actually building Elysium and they're using our money to build it. And they're going to all have us fight with each other. You don't fix the world with new science, new inventions, new technology coming together around a culture of liberty. No, no, no. You, you fix it by with gang tattoos and drinking and smoking pot and killing white people. And, 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 and it just, you know, there's religion in it with the nun speaking to him. You're going to change the world. I mean, it is pure liberation theology, probably foundation written. Uh, this is unbelievable. Just how, I mean, I'm against Birth of a Nation, the famous Ku Klux Klan film. I protested the Ku Klux Klan, but they have nothing. I mean, Ku Klux Klan can't tie their shoelaces, ladies and gentlemen. This is an anti-white movie, but it's okay, because as long as it's, you can be anything you want, as long as it's anti-white. But you can't criticize anybody else for what they're doing. The only racism is whites, and the message is, you kill them, you save the world. This is a racist, degenerate movie. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.